The study aims to summarize the evidence for the association between exposure to potentially hazardous substances through inappropriate and unsafe management practices related to disposal and recycling of end-of-life electrical and electronic equipment, e-waste, and adverse health outcomes. The study systematically searched five electronic databases and yielded 23 published epidemiological studies that met the predetermined criteria. All studies were from Southeast China. The findings suggest that exposure to e-waste is harmful to health, with plausible outcomes associated with exposure including change in thyroid function, changes in cellular expression and function, adverse neonatal outcomes, changes in temperament and behavior, and decreased lung function. The study also found significant negative correlations between blood chromium concentrations and forced vital capacity in children aged 11 and 13 years, as well as increased spontaneous abortions, stillbirths, premature births, reduced birth weights, and birth lengths associated with exposure to e-waste. People living in e-waste recycling towns or working in e-waste recycling had evidence of greater DNA damage than did those living in control towns. However, the study's findings on the effects of exposure to e-waste on thyroid function were not consistent. The study suggests that more well-designed epidemiological investigations in vulnerable populations, especially pregnant women and children, are needed to confirm these associations. This article was authored by Kristen Grant, MIPH, Fiona C. Goldazen, BA, Professor Peter D. Sly, MD, and others. We are article.tv, links in the description below.